So, hello to you all. Uh, I'm Elder Pereira and I'm a researcher from GECAD, that is a research group affiliated with the Polytechnic of Porto. And I'm here today to present um, my work on a peer to peer energy trading optimization in energy communities using a multi agent deep reinforcement learning. So, to start, I will uh, talk about the, um, the agenda. I will start with the contextualization, then I will talk about the peer-to-peer -peer model that we used, that was the double auction market. I will explain the, um, the proposed methodology that has two big, two big topics, that is the agent-based ecosystem and the training of the reinforcement learning models. And then I will present to you the case study and the main conclusions. Okay, now to contextualize my work. Um, with the emergence of the smart grid paradigm, one of the main topics of discussion is the transactive energy. Um, this is because with the use of transactive energy models, it is possible to share and trade energy among peers, for instance, to balance the grid's consumption and generation. For this, it is important to improve some elements of the traditional energy grid, like including smart metering and the layer of information and communication technology. An important fact is that transactive energy systems enables the implementation of peer-to-peer -peer energy trading markets as well as local energy markets. In peer-to-peer -peer energy trading, there is a lot of uncertainty going on, especially because of the necessary data to process all the markets. These problems uh, rise even more when talking of the application of peer-to-peer -peer in real contexts where most of the, the times some of the data is missing or the forecasts have high um, errors. For instance, predicting load consumption, renewable generation and flexibility levels are hard tasks and thus so it is essential to deal with the, the, the certainty come from the, those models. To improve the participation of uh, energy players in peer-to-peer -peer, uh, markets, reinforcement learning, deep learning and multi-agent systems are common approaches and all of them are used in this work. The peer-to-peer -peer, um, energy trading mechanism uh, used in the, this work is the double auction market. Um, the double auction um, has a great particularity compared to other, uh, to other trading mechanisms, that is, for each match between a seller and a buyer, there is a clearing price. And this is uh, important to, um, when applying reinforcement learning, because it creates um, a completely different number of strategies and tactics that the agents can pursue to, to improve their participation in the, um, the peer-to-peer market. Um, the clearing mechanism that we used is the, the mid-price, that is, when we have a match between a buyer and a seller, we sum both and do the mean. And uh, in the left side of this slide, uh, we can see uh, an example of a clearing process uh, in this type of market. So, uh, the sellers are organized by ascendant price of the bid and the buyers by descendant price of the bid. And then we uh, keep matching the, um, the lowest of the sellers uh, in terms of price, obviously, with the highest of the buyers. And we keep doing this until there is uh, no more energy to trade or uh, no more possible matches between buyers and sellers. So, the, um, the proposed methodology uh, provides um, a decision support system for participants in local energy markets and peer-to-peer -peer, uh, markets regarding the amount of energy uh, to be transacted and the price they want to ask if they are selling or to offer if they are buying energy. Um, in this methodology, the, the agents have access to, 
two algorithms of uh, reinforcement learning that are the deep deterministic policy gradients, that is uh, DDPG, or the twin delayed DDPG, that is uh, TD3, and is an improvement um, of the, the base algorithm. Um, besides that, to improve and to facilitate the integration of this type of methodologies in real contexts, uh, the methodology was integrated into um, the agent-based ecosystem for smart grids modeling, abbreviated by A4SG. The A4SG is an agent-based ecosystem specially designed to model the smart grid. Um, it combines the concepts of multi-agent systems and agent communities to produce an ecosystem in which all the agent-based systems and the agents themselves can coexist and interact. Um, the use of several groups of agents allows a distributed and intelligent decision-making process. As you can see, the multi-agent systems are the greater uh, groups and the agent communities are smaller groups with more specific uh, objectives inside the multi-agent system. This ecosystem takes advantage of two novel mechanisms that are branching and mobility to improve the agent's context and performance. The branching allows the, the main agents that represent a player or a service provider, a smart building, uh, to replicate themselves to another agent with more specific objectives like uh, um, have a forecast service, participate in an energy community, have a reinforcement learning model for peer-to-peer, -peer, and mobility allows the agents to move between uh, agent-based systems to improve their context. And this mobility is different from the, the ones that we are used to talk about because um, it, uh, it comes from an evaluation from the agent. If the agent is good on the group, it stays there. If it, is, if it is not, you will search for other possibilities to improve their performance. Passing now to the reinforcement learning training. Uh, here, we split the focus into two main areas. That is the environment and the agents. The environment um, provides the agents with the peer-to-peer the -peer energy market and uh, it is able to generate the observations for each one of the agents that uh, I will talk uh, just as follow. And uh, the agents receive the observations from the environment, uh, compute the actions to take, or by the policy, or by the exploration mechanism, and then they execute the aftermarket phase that uh, basically is the, um, the interaction with the grid to buy or to sell the remaining energy from the peer-to-peer -peer markets. The observation for each agent in each one of the periods is composed, as you can see right here. So, we have the, um, the demand forecast for uh, the, the period of the market, as well as the flexibility forecast. We have the last period transactions just uh, from this player, so we don't need to know the other transactions that happen uh, in the market. We have access to the date, the period time, and then we have access to the two prices to buy or sell energy from the retailer, the time of use tariff or the feed-in tariff. In what regards the actions, we have two actions, one regarding the price and the other one related to the energy amount to transact. Both the actions are in the range of 0 to 1, so basically they function as a percentual value. Uh, in what regards the, um, the action from the price, uh, we frame the, um, the percentual value between the, um, the feed-in tariff and the time of use tariff that, that are respectively the minimum and the maximum price to pay in the, in the energy markets and then we uh, go to the uh, energy amount to, to transact. The first thing is to, to get the error 
that the, the forecast might have, the maximum error. In this case, we use two metrics that are the mean absolute percentual error or the mean absolute error. And then, just like the price, we frame the, um, the quantity action or the energy amount action in the minimum and maximum possible values from the, um, the energy amount transact. That basically is the forecast minus the error or the forecast plus the error. To calculate the reward, we separate um, the calculation if we are talking from buyers or sellers. But basically, uh, here we have three components that are the cost. Uh, the cost grid is the, um, the price the agent would pay if he, not, if he would not participate in the energy market, if he would only buy or sell energy from the, the retailer. The cost market is the cost or the profit that the buyers or sellers have from participating in the market. And the extra cost is the aftermarket phase. That is, uh, if the agents can't buy or can't sell all the energy they need, they will go to the retailer and buy uh, or sell the remaining uh, energy. Um, to demonstrate the, um, the application of this technology, uh, it was developed a case study. Uh, considering an energy community of 50 players available in um, in this reference right here. The objective is to validate um, if the, the reinforcement learning algorithms allows the agents to improve their participation in the energy market and the usefulness of the ecosystem in this case of scenarios. Um, we have 50 players and what we did, it, uh, we separate the, um, the players in three groups. 20 will train with uh, TV3, 20 will train with TVPG, and the remaining 10 will remain without training. Um, the steps of the case study is to simulate the peer-to-peer -peer without uh, the training, uh, train the agents that will have trained, that uh, only the 10 one that uh, will remain without training are not considered in this step. And then we simulate the peer-to-peer -peer again, but with the reinforcement learning policies in the respective agents. Here we have the, the results of the peer-to-peer the -peer market after the, the reinforcement learning training. Uh, in the figure on the top, we have the rewards from all the agents during the reinforcement learning training. Uh, we can see that on the right, the TV3 had better results with um, higher rewards for the generality of the agents. And in what um, regards the savings of the agents in the market, um, the untrained agents um, went on a loss uh, of almost 17 euros. The, the DPG agent saved uh, basically 16 euros and the TV3 uh, 28.66 uh, euros. So here we can conclude that um, uh, TV3 was the better algorithm to, um, to help the, the agents improving their performance in the peer-to-peer the -peer market. To conclude, um, the DDPG had an average uh, of savings of um, 80 cents per agent in one week, and the TV3 had an average savings of 1 euro and 43 cents. So here we can see that the TV3 had a better performance. Um, the methodology um, was implemented in energy communities and did not only benefit the, the, the customers, but also the energy community in general, because the energy transacted rise by almost 40%. And the integration of this type of methodologies in an agent-based ecosystem is a great step towards the implementation and the deployment of uh, reinforcement learning in real contexts. So here we have uh, short information about me and also my email if you want to know more about our work. I hope you liked 
and thank you very much.